Hi, this is Jonathan, Customer Experience Manager here at SimplyCast.com. Today we're going to talk about creating an SMS campaign using our platform. SMS stands for Short Messaging Service, and this is a text that you can send out to people's phones. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an SMS campaign. Um, there's a number of other things that we can do here from the dashboard, and I'm going to get into those later after we've got our text set up. So to begin, I'm going to click on Create Project. So here we are. So I'm going to create uh, the project name first. And I'm just going to type in my SMS. OK, and I'm going to hit Continue to Editor. So here we are in the SMS editor. And this is where you can compose the content that you're going to send in your text. Before I begin composing anything, take a look down here in the bottom right where it says characters remaining on current message. SMS messages uh, can be a maximum of 140 characters. And that basically, and a character is basically a number or a letter. Um, as I type uh, the content that we're going to create, you'll see that number decrease as I type. If you exceed 140 characters, um, what our system will do is split up your message into more than one text. And this is important because each text that you send through our platform will cost a few cents depending on the region that you're sending to. So what I'm going to do now is just type in my text message. So just take a look at the character count down at the bottom right hand side and you'll see it decrease. So this is my text. So you can see I've got 124 characters left. And it's because I've got 124 characters left, um, it's contained within a single SMS message. So this will give you an idea of uh, how much you have remaining. If I want to clear what I've typed here, rather than having to highlight it or hit backspace, you can hit the clear button down here to start fresh. So now we're going to select the merge tag that we want to use. And a merge tag is basically a field that's in any of the mailing lists that you have. So if you've created a list using list management up here, you'll be able to go in here and choose a field from that list. So I'm going to click on the merge tag drop down, and I'm going to go down and put first name. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm just going to make sure I have the, there we go, just making sure I'm clicking here at the beginning. And then I'm going to go over here and hit add merge tag. So now I've got my first name uh, merge tag inserted. So now each text that's going to go out to my list, um, it's going to look at the content of the list and look for the first name and then merge it in. So this assumes that I have first names in my uh, list along with the uh, mobile numbers. If you didn't have names in here, it would just leave it blank. So it's very important that you um, take a look at your list content and make sure you have data in there if you're going to be using this feature. One of the nice things that we have is a preview. So I can go in here and test it. So I'm just going to click on the preview button. And then you can see this is an unmerged preview. But I can use the drop down box up here to select one of my lists. So I'm just going to go and click on test list. There. So now you can see the system has picked up the first name and merged it in here. So now, it's, now it says, John, this is my text. And you can also scroll through different records by using these buttons up here. Or you can click on the random button and it'll automatically uh, randomly select one from the list. All right, so now that we've finished previewing our text, I'm just going to go over to the left and click on editor again. And that's going to return to the editor. There's a field here that says max length. And this is used if you want to set a maximum length for the merge field. So if you think you may have data that's really long in here, uh, you can set a maximum. Uh, and this would be good if you were concerned about the number of characters remaining in the text message. Um, so just keep that in mind if you want to keep it to a single message and you know, you've got a long text that you need to send. So now that we've got our message set up, let's continue to settings. 
And I'm going to do that by clicking on Continue to Settings over here on the left. Okay, so now we're on the Send page. And what we're going to need to do first is set the date and time that we want our text to go out. So I'm going to click on this box right here where the current date and time is selected. I'm going to change the time to go out at, actually let's say it's going to go out tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So now that we've got that selected, um, we can just double click. You'll see the change has been made here. Now if you wanted to send the text immediately, um, you wouldn't actually have to fill out the date and time. You could just hit send now and the system would send the text out immediately to any list that you've selected. But I want to send my text tomorrow. So now that we've got the date and time there, we want to select the lists that we're going to use. And I'm just going to click on my test list. And you can see that I've got a total of four contacts on that list. And two of those contacts have mobile numbers. That's important because our platform allows you to use a list for multiple different things. So I could use a list for my SMS marketing as well as email marketing, for example. So now that we've got this set up, I'm going to click on Continue to Review. So here we are on the review checklist. This page basically gives you an overview of what you've done so far uh, as you've created your SMS. So I can see a series of green check boxes. And that's good. That means that I've completed all the steps that I need to do to send this project. You can also see that uh, it's showing the estimated price of the campaign as well, which is showing three cents. And that's useful if you have a lot of different numbers, especially numbers that are uh, in different countries. Um, the system will go through and basically estimate uh, the cost for those for you. So you'll have an idea of what the campaign will cost you. So I'm going to click on Complete Project. And then we're done. So I'm just going to close this survey. All right. So now we're on the management page. So basically, the system has returned us back to uh, the SMS um, section. So from the management page here, we can see the SMS campaign that we've scheduled. And if we had multiple campaigns scheduled, they would show up here as well. If we want to abort the campaign, we can just click on Cancel. And the system will, uh, will prompt us if we're, we're sure we want to cancel or not. If you want to get back to the dashboard where we started the SMS campaign, you can click on the Summary tab here. And it'll take us back to the dashboard. And you can see the, the SMS campaign that I've just created here. If I want to make changes to it, I could go back and edit it. Or I could schedule another campaign. It's very important to note that once you've scheduled your SMS, if you make changes to it, those changes are not going to be reflected in the campaign that you've already scheduled. So make sure that you abort the campaign, make your changes, and then schedule another one. When an SMS is scheduled, we also uh, take out the credit immediately for that campaign. So you'll remember that our campaign that we sent cost three cents. And you can now see that I have 97 cents left over in my account. So the next thing I want to show you is reports. So here we are on the SMS reports page. And this is where you can see additional information about your campaign. Most of the fields here are the same as management, uh, with the exception of a, a few different columns like this one that says transactional type. And what transactional type means is you can do SMS messaging through the 360 Automation Manager. And transactional messages only occur when certain conditions are met. Um, and in the case of what we just did when we sent a, an individual SMS out, we only sent it to a, a specific list, so it's not a transactional message. So now we're going to look at the details of the report. So I'm just going to click on Open. And this is going to take me to a page with some more specific information. And one of the great things about this page is I can view the contact responses here. Since we just scheduled the campaign, there are no replies yet. But if people reply to your text, you'll be able to see the number that they replied from, uh, the name. If, if you have the name in your list, you'll be able to see it here. 
And you'll also be able to see the response that they gave. And you can take this information and also download it just by clicking on the download button here. To close the report, we can go over to the close report button in the top left hand corner. So once I click on that, I'm returned back to the reports page. So let's take a look at the unsubscribe list next. And what this is, is people can opt out of SMS campaigns that you send just by uh, replying in the text. However, you may run into circumstances where somebody may contact you and say, you know, I don't want to receive any more texts from you. Maybe they give you a call or they email you, for example. So if that's the case, you can add numbers here in this box. Basically, you can enter one number per line. So um, for example, here, I'll type in a, a fake number here just to show you uh, what the format would be like. Uh, this would assume that it's uh, a North American number. Um, if it's an international number, make sure that you uh, prefix it with uh, country code. So if it was the UK, for example, you'd want to make sure you have plus four four and then the rest of the number. Um, our system doesn't care if you have dashes in here or brackets or anything, uh, just as long as um, the number fits um, whatever country uh, you're sending to. So once you've got the number in there, you just want to click on unsubscribe. Then the system is going to tell us how many numbers were added. So it says one number was added. So we'll say OK. And then we'll be able to see the number below. And you'll see that because I used a North American number, our system automatically put plus one, which is the country code for North America. If you had a lot of unsubscribes here, uh, we could basically search for it here by using the search box. That'll make it easy to, to find a particular number. You can also download the list as well. So if you ever want to download your unsubscribe list, you just go over to the right, click on download, and then it'll save it as a CSV file. So that's all there is to creating an SMS campaign. If you have any questions, check out our FAQs, send us a tweet at SimplyCastHelp, or send us an email to support at simplycast.com.